America, my name is George Jacobs, and I've just seen something that has outraged me, and I cannot be silent anymore. I'm a Barack Obama supporter. I'm not a Barack Obama supporter simply because he's a black man. Yes, I'm very proud of a black man accomplishing what he's accomplished. Many of us have. But I'm a Barack Obama supporter because he represents something different. He represents me wanting to be a part of this government for the first time since I was able to vote. Now, what I've been seeing lately is the degradation of this man uh, because of his color with the, the, um, the comments of uh, the Hillary Clinton supporter and also now the degradation of his character because of his pastor. His pastor may have said some controversial, uh, controversial ish things or issues um, during his sermon, but it was geared towards a black audience. Why? Because a lot of times we feel this way. I don't feel Barack Obama is a separatist, but you have to understand as black people, we have issues just like White people in um, certain areas have certain issues. Uh, the working class has issues. Mine workers have issues. The, the elite and um, CEO corporations, they ha everybody has an issue. And all that that pastor did was bring about certain issues he felt about, especially where that man came from. That man came from a civil rights era. But you cannot, you cannot connect that with Barack Obama. He mainly goes to that church he finds spiritual healing there, but this is not a part of his, of his philosophy or, or a part of his campaign. This is a part of his personal life. And these, these sermons that everybody is so upset about happened, one, Barack Obama wasn't there, and it was many years ago. This is the, this is the case. The society, not our society, not us as common people, um, but the people in power are afraid of this man. This man has done something unprecedented and they've never seen it before. He's raised more money than any other candidate, especially Democratic candidate, in a primary before. There's something special about him. He's bringing in voters that have never voted before. And they don't understand it and it's fearful. And then he's coming and talking about change. That's the one thing this government, this, especially, uh, especially the Republican government, does not want. Republicans like to be conservative. They do not want change. This man is bringing about change because we cannot keep on going on the same path we are in this country. There are reasons we have enemies. We've, we've killed our foreign policy. Our foreign policy is hor horrible right now. Anybody who's traveled to any other country outside of this, this country knows that Americans are hated because we don't practice proper diplomacy. We don't respect other, other nations just because we, ha we may um, have more people or or maybe they don't have a nuclear weapon or, or, or the army capabilities we have, they're not as respected. Barack Obama may disagree with a lot of people and a lot of things, but he's always respected them. John McCain, he disagrees with him absolutely, totally, all day long, but he respects him. He respects his, the time he spent as a prisoner of war. Hillary Clinton. I mean, Hillary Clinton has thrown anything but the kitchen sink at this man, and still he does not defame her. Still, he stays on the issues of her choices when she was a senator to go into Iraq. We need a change. We need our troops home, our brothers, our sisters, some people's fathers are out there fighting a war that does not need to be fought right now. We have an enemy. We do. It is called Al-Qaeda, and most of them reside in Afghanistan. And we are spreading ourselves way too thin, not to help any Iraqi soldiers, but really to help Halliburton keep their oil and keep all the other businesses they're putting up there. And Barack Obama knows this. Barack Obama is the only candidate that wants to tell us what's going on behind closed doors. That's very dangerous, very dangerous. So they are throwing everything they have at him and they have nothing. His pastor, who has ever used somebody's pastor against them? This is ridiculous. This is where he goes to church. This is not somebody funding his campaign or even going around uh, uh, speaking for him as a surrogate. Barack Obama does not agree with um, a certain amount of those controversial uh, remarks and he said so over and over and over again. What people are doing is they're feeding into the fear. There is a fear in this country of a change and there's always been in the fear in this country of a black man for some reason. I don't understand it, but I feel it every day walking down the street as a black man. And he's feeling it. They're afraid of him. 
And I believe there's nothing to be afraid of. Change is not easy. It will be hard. And it, it's hard to get used to. But ultimately, we need the change. You don't want to go into that, that operation room and cut out the cancer, but if you don't, it grows and you die. We need an operation in this country. We need to change the guards. We need to change out the Clintons and the Bush administration. That means McCain. And we need to have something new, something wonderful, something that we all could finally feel like we're a part of. So stop separating on race. He hasn't separated on race. He's not generally running as a black man. He's running as a person who wants to help this country. He's running as somebody who believes that he has the correct ideas to push this country to, to a brighter and better future. If he didn't love this country and if his wife and family didn't love this country, they wouldn't be putting themselves through what they're putting themselves right now. It's not easy to step in those shoes. But he's doing it and he's doing a wonderful job. So I, I appease to you, you, me, my brothers, our sisters, all of you, black, white, Mexican, wherever you're from, we need to come together as people and be a part of our government again. Young, old, let's be a part of our government. Barack Obama.